Hey everyone, Ryan here with hollypower.com and today I want to show you how to use tags correctly within Convert Kit. Now one of the um, great things about ConvertKit, which is in my opinion where it supersedes a lot of its similarly priced competitors, is that they have the ability to segment your audience and tag your audience. Um, now for a lot of people this will be something that's a bit new because with a lot of the uh, autoresponder programs at let's call it the lower price point of the market you can do broadcast emails which is basically just a email blast which goes out um, and it just goes out to everyone on your list however that isn't the most effective way to do it and with ConvertKit you can create tags and segments which is based on buying behavior or any other thing that you want it to be based on um, which will mean that you can send more heavily targeted emails to the right people think about it everyone that's on your list isn't going to be in the same stage of the buying process and they're not going to have all exactly the same needs wants and desires or maybe they don't even want the same products by being able to segment your audience it will mean that you will be able to be in a position to serve them better and respond to their needs better also okay so let's have a look at what this might be then so to begin with, let's have a look at the tags. Now it's dead simple. I'm here in the subscriber section and you'll notice here, this is a new account, so there aren't any subscribers on here, but you can see here, there's a position here where we can tag and we can simply just create a tag. And what you do is you literally just give that tag a name. So for argument's sake, I might create a series of tags for everyone who has purchased a certain type of treatment. So let's say my nail treatments to begin with, okay? So I'm going to have one tag for, let's call it manicure. I'm going to create a whole load here and you'll see them now. Start going here. It says here zero subscribers. That's the number of people in my list who have that tag. Okay, I'm then going to do another one that says Express Manicure, and I'm going to do another one, uh, Pedicure. Okay, these are just examples. Okay, now what I can do now, let's actually let's make it. I'm also going to create some different ones. I'm also going to create um, some tags for uh, clients who come in to have spray tans. So I'm going to have a Santrope tag. And um, that's fine. Okay, right. Now, the purpose of this is because when I send out an email to my clients, I might want to send different messages to people who I know have come in for a tan before to people who have come in for an express manicure. So say for argument's sake, I've got a slot that's come up due to a cancellation for one of my nail girls. I'm not going to want to send that necessarily to the people who have previously come in for a spray tan when I could only send it to the people who have come in for, um, for something for their nails. Okay, does that make sense? Fab. Now, someone, of course, might have all of these tags, and that's fine as well. But as I say, it just gives you a way that you can segment your data. Now, I can also go into a segment. An easiest way to think of this, segments are, I like to look at them as large collections of tags. So I might have a segment, which will be, let's call it nail clients. Ooh. And nail clients, if I go in here, add a filter, and this will be everyone that has whichever tags I want to add. And I'm going to add all of my nail tags. Okay, so now what this is saying is it's saying that any client who has any of these tags, so if they subscribe to any of these tags, they will be part of my nail client segment. And if I create it, there it is, segments, nail clients, okay? I'm now gonna do the same again so you can see how it works with tanning clients, okay? And this will be anyone that matches the tag of Saint-Tropez, okay? So now I've got two segments here, nail clients and tanning clients. 
Um, now, I might also have another segment, maybe, of people, for example, who have expressed an interest but never actually been into my spa. So maybe they have um, signed up for a free guide that I've written, or maybe they've entered a competition on my website. And again, you will might want to send, well, you absolutely should send different emails to those people. Um, The whole idea being all of your customers are very much different. They are not all the same. And as I say, by sending everyone exactly the same details, you're missing out on a trick, okay? Because if, let's say, for argument's sake, I'm doing a nail promotion this coming week, I want to be sending that to the nail clients. And really, I want to be sending the tanning clients something different. Remember, someone could be in both of those segments, and that's fine, And the system is also clever enough that it would only send the email to them once in that instance, okay? So that gives you an idea. Now, I'm going to take it one step further and show you how it works. So let's go into a broadcast, which is how we send an email. So let's send a new email. And it's going to ask uh, here, select your subscriber. So it's asking me who I want to send it to. So what I can do, uh, currently it's a default, is to send it to absolutely everyone. But as I've said, we probably don't want to do that. So if I X out of that, I can add a new filter and I can have, as you can say, and basically I can then go within a segment. So I can choose who I want to send it to. If I want to send it to the nail clients or tanning clients or both. And you can play around with these filters however you see fit. Now, this is actually a really, really powerful element of ConvertKit. And once you get your head around it, it's actually one of the most powerful parts of the software. You can also use it for other things as well. So say, for example, you have sent out, um, uh, let's say you've sent out a email to your segment of nail people saying about a special offer that you have coming up that week. You might have a link in your email um, where they have to click through to see the promotional page. You could set up a rule within the software so that they get tagged if they click on that link. And that's really powerful because it means you can then follow up with that later knowing that they have already clicked on it and knowing that there's a good chance that they're going to be interested. Okay, so as I say, this is a really powerful, um, a really powerful tool within ConvertKit. It takes a little bit to get your head around to begin with, but once you have it all set up with the proper tags and segments in there, it will mean your email marketing will become far more efficient. Uh, If you've got any questions, and I guess you may have, then feel free to leave them in the comments underneath. If you have enjoyed the video or has been useful, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm Ryan for hollypower.com.